with the transformer looping. Uh, this would be the last session, uh, most probably, with the transformer. Uh, I'm going to create a new job to discuss with the uh, transformer looping concept. So the transformer looping concept uh, would cover uh, the looping variable part and what is system variable like iteration, at the rate of iteration, such all information. So to that, I'm going to take a file, source file, and I'll just first go through the file and uh, try to explain what is uh, the file looks like and how we are going to take. So pivoting using a transformer, how can we do? We using pivoting, how, uh, transformer, how can we do pivoting? So uh, this is what a file, we have taken this file in a pivot enterprise stage, pivot enterprise stage. And uh, today the same file, I'm going to take it into uh, data stage with the transformer to perform pivoting. So horizontal pivoting we are taking, the data we are taking urgently and converting the data into vertical. Converting the data into vertical. So the first file is like horizontal pivoting, horizontal pivoting. So this is to browse the file and uh, we go for horizontal pivot.txt. The first line is column name true because the file consists of uh, first uh, line as a header and uh, the format is uh, pipe delimiter, so pipe I need to mention, and the columns. And in this job, already I have imported this when we use with the pivoting uh, with the pivot enterprise stage. And uh, to be uh, safe, side, I'm going to uncheck this and enable runtime column propagation. And in the file, we can see the view data whether view data is populating properly or not. And uh, what I want to do in the target, how the data I want to represent, we will just discuss. So here I have four uh, companies, uh, three companies of data and uh, four records for each company. Uh, means like uh, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. So total quarter four, two, four, two, four quarters of data I have and related to three different companies, telecommunication companies. So now I want to make them into vertical. Like I have horizontal data, now I want to convert that into vertical. So for that, I'm going to construct a uh, user loop variable. And based on that loop variable, I'm going to uh, do looping. So company name, company total sales, company total sales amount, sales amount. So this I'm going to take as an integer value and I'm going to take this as a new column. So in the looping variable, in the loop while, you can specify the iteration system variable, this iteration, one loop, means one loop with the conditions. So here less than or equal to four quarters I have. So four records of data should be populated into single column and uh, how many less than or equal to you need to provide, don't provide equal to because equal to means four, less than or equal to means four times. So one loop variable, I will be appending a loop variable and here I'm going to define a loop. So what I'm going to define if iteration one is equal to, if iteration equals to one, then what I want is then I want to print the total first uh, input sales column, input here sales column. Else again, if iteration two, if iteration two, I want to specify iteration two, is equal to iteration two and i'm going to take in that case the column sales one and uh, again if, uh, if then else if then else condition i want to make and in that if i take the iteration three system variable iteration equals to equals to three the iteration three then what I want to do, I want to print a input column sales two. And else what I want, I want the third column, right? That column third one. So total total year sales. So this loop variable I'll be posting, I'll be calling into the derivation. That's it. So looping concept will help. You need to iteration, you need to iterate. Iterate, uh, iteration you need to define in the looping variable and that loop variable you can call into the uh, derivation part of the transformer. So now we will try to run this job, uh, run this flow and see the data how it looks. So transform loop.ds loop.ds 
So compilation is going to happen and it is asking to save the job. So in the jobs folder, I'm going to create underscore batch one. And uh, this is 22nd job is done, 23rd job might be. So I'll put transformer, transformer stage underscore job uh, 23. So save and this is your job. Compilation successful. So now I'm going to run this job and total how many records? Three records I have and four companies information, four quarters I have. So the loop should happen 12 times. So the loop happened for 12, four time, uh, for loop iteration for four times iteration I have and 12 records are designed to the output. We'll see whether the data is populated properly or not. So this is what means this looping condition, whatever we did, this is uh, and a hard code means we have data we have did a hard code of the value the iteration we did not specify dynamically we specified a uh, specific like uh, we given a hard code value so that should not that will not work out actually but here the to discuss with only the iteration and the loop variable i have take, taken this example but we have another example which help us to do automation so iteration less than or equal. Tomorrow, if uh, fifth company comes, fifth companies comes, then also no problem. Mostly it will work, no problem. Not mostly it will work, no problem at all. Okay, uh, but only the quarter get reduces. Uh, maybe quarter cannot increase, but quarter can reduce. Then in that case, it is an issue. Then in case that is a issue, because iteration is four times because your data will just go through the pivoting uh horizontal pivot that we have did so here see iteration one two three sorry sorry this is employee id up to here this is the one two three four total four quarters of information you have of each company then the four quarters which are in horizontal they need to come into vertical as like as I showed in the target. So for that I have implemented this scenario. So here what happens that four iterations will happen. And in the four iterations, I'm going to tell to uh, the transformer through iteration number. If iteration one, then print this column. If iteration two, then print this column. If iteration three, then print this column. If iteration four, then this else this column. So like that I have defined based on the iteration in the loop variable. That loop variable we have called into this column. So by that only we got the total records and which you can view in the target. So this is your loop variable concept, uh, loop variables concept in transformer. So, but this is a hard code value that I given. Now we'll see one example and one important scenario, very important. That scenario we'll cover with the uh, automated. So just uh, just uh, compare with the source, compare with the source, Airtel, Airtel company 20122 and 20255. Yes, the values are coming properly. So that, that is what with the looting of a transformer. Okay. So now we'll go with another file. For example, I have a loop. So here, if you try to understand, I cannot define properly. I can not define length exactly three or four because here, if you see the data is in original example, I'll take, I cannot give you the exact data, but I'll tell you on real time example. I have an insurance uh, uh, product ID and uh, the same incidents can be with multiple customers, correct or not? So the data is coming like this, the, the insurance policy a number and the policy customers, how many are there? Those are all customers names are coming urgently, but I want to convert vertically. But in this case, for one insurance ID, there are three employees. For other insurance ID, there are four employees. Means the iteration get changes. So this is a dynamic, means it is like not a fixed one, it is dynamic one. So now the iteration should change per one uh, insurance ID to the other insurance ID, it gets changes. So in this case, you cannot follow this process. So what, I, what we can do here is we can, we need to change, we need to do how we can do, how we need to convert this into a convert uh, into so I'm going to take a new job, convert uh, the data vertically. So how can I take, uh, I'll just show you, how can we do that, I'll show you. 
and just first think of the scenario whether any functions of a string or something will help us to perform this or to implement this we can look we can use multiple functions we can use a lot of things we have did we have seen so this all you can put here and you can input so this is the file which i am going to take and the format would be the comma and the quote is double i'm going to remove this and the columns i'm going to specify i have the table definition is imported loop.txt and uh, view data i'll just show you the pop up uh, video uh, sorry what uh, output red blue green green yellow like this okay now this should be vertically should be present so how we can do that go to the transformer just uh, specify id id name but in id name item name it should be uh, the other case so first of all what i need to do i need to define how many ways how many how the how to identify the how many times the loop should happen so first record three times second record four times third record one time fourth record three times so i should loop these values how to do that so first you need to identify based on the delimiter that account so decount is that function that we have so what i can do in the stage variable i can append a stage variable with uh, using function decount within the string function of what of a input column item name and what is the delimiter that is comma so this will define the number of loop that should happen so what i will do i'll give the iteration number less than or equal to the stage where which we have uh, it will show you the um, delimiter delimiter as well it will show you the number of times that should be looped in the loop variable what i need to do here it should all be automated i cannot make i cannot tell you this loop this column this loop this column i cannot tell you like that because the data that this is automated it's not fixed one so in that case what i am going to do i am going to use a function called field function and in the field function the input the name is item name the input column is item name and the delimiter is comma comma and what i need to do the occurrence every iteration is one occurrence every iteration is one occurrence so by this we can implement this uh, and uh, in the night in the, in the item name i'm going to iterate the loop name so now here i'm going to give the column name as transform the data set name as transformer loop dot ds before also i provide the same this would be auto automate loop dot ds okay so click okay i'm compiling before compiling you will ask to save the job so i'm going to the jobs folder and this would be the 24th job before i given 23 i hope uh, uh, transformer stage loop loop dot del j3 job 4 i want to give save i have saved it it is compiling so after the compilation it will run now total how 11 times the loop has executed see whether check whether 11 times should be loop is generated or how 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so 11 record should be populated so 11 times the loop got executed and view the data so it will view the data okay now we will compare this data see 2231 2231 2231 red blue green 2231 2241 green yellow blue black 2251 2251 only one time which is the record white 
2258 green pink red so this is what the output that is what the iteration okay so using the transformer you can make the iteration automated even this is one very very important scenario nowadays the people are asking you in interviews so i have cleared with uh, with practice so there are some other scenarios which we need to do so do very much practice you get more knowledge so these are the loop variable concepts system variable concept and this would be the last session of the transformer and again in the type 2 implementation we see some of the information of surrogate key and some surrogate key values and all information okay thanks for watching this video thanks for your time and this is the last session for the transformer and next session we'll start with new stage thank you very much Thank <laughs> you.